No Rest for the Weekend's coverage of the Tribeca Film Festival is sponsored by JMR Rentals, professional digital cinema and broadcast equipment rentals in Brooklyn, New York. JMRNY.com. Hello and welcome to No Rest for the Weekend. I'm Jason Godby, and today we're bringing you a recap of this year's Tribeca Film Festival. The Tribeca Film Festival was held from June 8th to the 19th in New York City. The festival featured a wide array of media, including narrative and documentary films, audio, interactive, games, television, music, and retrospective screenings. In addition to the in-person screenings, the festival also hosted Tribeca at Home, a virtual program via their website. Among the in-person screenings were several world premieres, including Corner Office, starring John Hamm, Summer in Queens, starring and directed by Ray Romano, and American Dreamer, starring Peter Dinklage. Screenings were held at the BMCC Tribeca Performing Arts Center, and our own Kay Lavera was there on the red carpet. Kayla Vera for No Rest for the Weekend here on the red carpet at Tribeca Film Festival. We have some great interviews coming up, so don't go anywhere. Joining me now is the amazing John Hamm, the star of Corner Office. John, thank you so much for... Pleasure to be here, thank you. So, um, how does it feel to be here today at the Tribeca Film Festival? Well, it feels great. I mean, it's nice to see people. It's nice to see people gathering and, and, and coming together to support uh, what we do. And I'm thrilled to, to get a chance to, to show people the movie that we made. So, I, I still haven't seen it, so I'll see it with everybody else. Oh, my God. Also, um, you're used to doing big Hollywood films. How does it feel to do an indie? Uh, I, that's where I started. You know, it's uh, I've started uh, acting and producing independent films, and that's it's it's different obviously it's different working on something like top gun than it is on something like this but it's just as exciting because we get to tell the story and we get to work with some tremendously talented people up and down the cast and crew so i was thrilled to get a chance to work in vancouver again where we shot the film I was thrilled to get a chance to work with uh joachim who's who's a phenomenal director and uh i'm, I'm excited for people to see the film so just a few words about the film and what attracted you to the project um, the, the story was interesting to me. It mostly takes place inside the main character's head. And I thought that was a very interesting idea in a visual medium to have this sort of thing that takes place in his imagination and, and other people in the, in the world can't see, but we as the viewers can see. So Joachim took that idea and ran with it and I knew I was in very good hands and, and uh, it was just an interesting idea and I was, I was glad to be able to get to do it. Kayla Vera with John Hamm. Thank you so much and have fun tonight. Thank you. Joining me now is Sarah Gadden, one of the lead actresses of Corner Office. Sarah, it's so nice having you here with us. Um, I'd love to know more about the character you played. Sure, I mean, I play um, a woman who works at the office. She's um, very businesslike, and John, kind of, his character really creates a fantasy around her and what their relationship could be. And as the film unfolds, you discover whether or not that relationship is real or just a dream. I love that. I'd love to know a little more about the journey as a character. I mean, for me, it was so much fun because the the script has so much fantasy in it and so much humor. And I love just playing around with the dryness of that humor. And, and I think also being able to have that big dance sequence and be able to do a ballroom dance in a movie is so much fun. I grew up as a dancer, so I just love being able to do something like that in a movie. Amazing. Well, you look beautiful. Thanks so much for stopping by. Sarah Gadon for No Rest for the Weekend here at Tribeca Film Festival. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Joining me now is Christopher Heyerdahl, a lead actor in Corner Office. Christopher, it's nice to have you speak to us today. It's my pleasure to speak to you. Welcome to Tribeca. Oh, thank you so much. Your first time here, right? Yes. 
Yes. I'd like to know more about who you played and what it means for you to be at Tribeca Film Festival. Well, this is my second time at Tribeca, so, and I, I know I'm not 25, so it's, it's been a long time since I've been wanting to come to uh, festivals like this, and it's great to be back. So I'd like to know a little more about the film and the character that you played. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Andrew's a middle management fellow, and uh, so he has uh, lots of people under him, and he has lots of people higher up. So his job is to try and please everybody and make everything work and not get fired, like everyone does in that kind of situation. And what happens is that he uh, ends up hiring a, a young man, played by... John Hamm. <laughs> Mr. Hamm. And um, who has a very different way of looking at the world and a wonderful, delicious way of looking at the world and does great things uh, for the company. But the way that he does those great things troubles many people. Including so, your character. Well, I think he actually quite enjoys it, but he has so many people that he has to keep happy. Okay. Like I think anybody in that kind of position, right. we have to keep everyone happy. Yeah, when everyone starts to scream and yell, it's like dealing with a bunch of kids. So that's where I think the comedy, the comedy comes out of uh, the true uh, bizarre behavior that, that human beings do on a regular basis. I mean, when you're working, you see the same thing happening. I'm sure you have a good giggle uh, in the lunchroom, in the coffee room. I always try to. Right? Always yeah. try to exactly. have a giggle. So do, I. so do I, but sometimes it's hard. So that's, I, I think, the exploration here is really quite um, quite delicious. And, and um, the, the character, that John's character, really does have a delicious imagination. And not everyone in the office has such a delicious imagination and I think that's where the conflict comes and um, so it's it's good fun I love that well I hope to see it soon Wrap thank it you up. so Wrap much up, for spending the time with us and I uh, have fun tonight thank you joining me now is Oliver Ridge the producer of the film corner office Hi. Oliver, how does it feel to be here tonight at Tribeca Film Festival? So surreal. Making movies is tough, it's hard, it's long, but when you're here, like at events like this, I feel like a child. I'm so happy. Amazing. I'd love to know more about the film. Give us a little, uh, give us some details. Uh, so it's a, it's a dark comedy, it's an introspective into uh, Orson, who's played by John Hamm. It's uh, very much a, a look at what it means to be a compulsive bureaucrat with, uh, with OCD. And one day he finds this big, beautiful office that no one's using. And he's stuck in this cramped cubicle. And he's wondering why no one's using this office. And then as he starts working in there and stealing his co-worker's work and doing it in there, we realize the office doesn't exist. And it becomes a fight between him and his co-workers to protect the office. I love that. So. Another tricky question. Okay. What do you want the audiences to feel? What do you want them to take away from the film? I think with COVID and everything about now, we're seeing so many people going back to work, like what that's going to mean to them, like going back to a conventional work, wearing a suit and tie. But also it's like, where do we go in our own minds to protect ourselves, either from the mundane or from perhaps from a threat? So I hope people will look at that and think to themselves, well, where do I go to protect myself? I love that. So it's a dark comedy with elements of fantasy, as you mentioned? I would say so. Wow, I can't wait to see See it. I hope you like it. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here with a multi-talented Ray Romano, the director and the star of Somewhere in Queens. Congratulations, this Thank is you. your directorial debut. It is my debut, I've never directed anything. Yeah. Wow, how did it feel for you working on this project? It was nerve-wracking, frightening, it was everything, every adjective for scary, every synonym. I felt it. And then when I finally got into it, it, it actually became fun. It actually became fun to bring something to life that I wrote, also co-wrote, and it was personal to me. And when it was all said and done, and by the way, it's not all said and done until another two hours from now, after we see the movie. Yes. But up to now, it, it was kind of a dream come true, really, you know? I, I, I would do it all over again. As scary as it was, I'd do it all over again. That's amazing. So what's the message, the central message of the movie? What would you want the audiences to walk away with? Um, well, not to be too uh, simple about it, but 
it's it's about that we're all we all have go through the same struggles no matter where you're from no matter what traditions you have no matter what kind of family you have no matter how old you are uh, everybody has a struggle to overcome and you're not alone and you get help from your family you get help from your friends but you can all get through it that's kind of the overall theme of it I think that is amazing I can't wait to right, see thank, thank you. you so much I gotta go thank you Ray Romano with Jacob Ward, the star of Somewhere in Queens. Jacob, so how did it feel working on this film for you? Incredible. It was, um, you know, from the moment I got the, the breakdown about this project, I was super excited about it because I've been a huge fan of Ray and Lori and Sadie and everybody involved with it. Um, it was incredible. It was a dream come true. So tell us a little bit. Who uh, did you character? play? Yeah, uh, I play Styx. So Styx is a, a lanky, quiet high school kid. Um, whose sort of only outlet is the basketball court. And um, he's got to learn how to, you know, find his voice and um, express himself in a way that works for him. And uh, it's a big part of the movie, so yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very this much. This is an amazing place to be at. Um, good luck with the project. Have fun tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here with Tony Lobianco. Um, the star of Somewhere in Queens. Tony, tell us a little bit about your character. I'm so excited to hear. Well, I, uh, I'm the father of Ray Romano and uh, also uh, Maniscalco. And uh, I run the construction company. And I want them to, they, they work for me. And uh, The boss. The boss. So, uh, and then it develops. You'll see, you'll see what happens. Uh, and then the son, I want his son, a good looking kid, to come into the uh, the business, and he's graduating. He's graduating uh, high school, and plays basketball. And it's a very good script. And I saw it, so it's a very good movie too. I yeah. can't wait to it's, see it. Oh, it's very good. You, you'll see it. You'll enjoy it. How does it feel for you to be here at Tribeca? You look oh, great. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. Yeah, it's, uh, I've never been here. I've never done this uh, before at Tribeca, and uh, it's great. It's terrific. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for stopping by and have fun tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Joining me now is Kimberly Shoniker, the star of American Dreamer. Kimberly, I overheard that you were also in the corner office. How does it feel to have two films? in Tribeca Film Festival. Honestly, my breath is taken away. I can't even imagine what could top this, quite honestly, right? It's pretty amazing, and this is also a homecoming for me. So to come back to New York City with two premieres, I must have done something good in my past life. So I'd love to know a little bit um, about your character in The American Dreamer and what attracted you to the project. Like Corner Office, great filmmakers, great cast, great story. Uh, with American Dreamer, the character I play has a little bit more teeth, a little bit more claws. And going from one extreme of playing such a nervous character to a character who has a little bit more bite, that is super fun. That is super fun and exciting. What do you think the central message of the film is? To find your own American dream. We all have these ideas, you know, that we were fed when we were younger, and they might not be right for you, you know? So find your own dream in this life. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. You look absolutely thank gorgeous. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, and uh, have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Kimberly Shoniker, everyone. Thank you. Joining me now is Michelle Milet, the star of American Dreamer. Michelle, you look beautiful today. How does it feel to have your film in Tribeca Film Festival? Um, it's amazing. It's really fun to be in New York. I've never been to Tribeca before. Um, I'm here with my friend Carrie, which is really nice. And yeah, it's just like it feels like a special, special time. So I'm really excited. So who did you play? Tell us a little bit about your character. 
So I play one of uh, Peter Dinklage's students, and I'm a little bit of a loose cannon, so possibly a little bit obsessive, possibly a little bit uh, deregulated, and it's kind of fun to play somebody like that, uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but, but we had a lot of fun with her. So what was it like working with Peter Dinklage? Oh, it was so nice. Yeah, I'm like, I'm such a huge Game of Thrones fan, just like everybody else, right? So working with him, I was like a little bit starstruck when I first met him, but he's the kind of person that, uh, he just makes everybody feel really comfortable the moment that he that he meets you, and he's disarmingly talented and, and just like extremely kind, and um, yeah, he put me at ease right away, so it was nice. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see the film. Thanks so much for stopping by. Michelle Mylad, American Dreamer. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for having me. Joining me now is Rebecca Olson, the star of American Dreamer. Rebecca, you look stunning today. Thank you so much. What is it like to have your film in Tribeca? It is, it's a dream come true. I, I came to New York for the first time when I was 20 to see my favorite show on Broadway. And if you had told me that 14 years later, I would be in a movie in Tribeca. I mean, it's, yeah, I never could have dreamt it my wildest dreams, to be honest. It's, it's really special. And my agent's one of my best friends. We've had three wonderful days, and yeah, it's been great. Who did you play in the American Dream? So I play twins. I play uh, Beatrice and Babette. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, it's hard to, hard to say who I play without giving anything away, but it's really fun. And before I let you go, I just really want to know, what is it like working with Peter Dinklage? He is, you understand why he is as successful as he is the second you watch him work. He's just incredible to watch. And now, here's a look ahead to next week's episode featuring John Cho on the red carpet of his latest film, Don't Make Me Go. Can you tell me what, a little bit about what attracted you to this project and a little bit about your character? It's just, I love the intimate scale of the movie. It's, this, is a, this, this kind of feature is far, uh, these kinds of features are far, few and far between these days. Um, the dramatization of a father-daughter relationship, I, I thought this was worth exploring and something that meant something to me. The character was going through something difficult. I, I, I just thought all the elements were there for, uh, for something interesting to happen. Um, and they happened to cast then sort of who I think was the perfect partner for me in Mia Isaac. And, um, and I had a lot of faith in uh, Hannah Marks, who was really intelligent, very commanding, you know, um, and had opinions and, and put it all together, it could work. It could not work. I'm glad it did. Yeah. And I think it works really well. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for taking this trip down the rabbit hole. For more of our content, including our movie reviews and more film festival coverage, visit our website, norestfortheweekendpodcast.com. Don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. And now you can subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash getbehindtherabbit. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone who came out to chat with us. And of course, a big shout out and thanks to our sponsor, JMR Rentals. For Behind the Rabbit Productions, Kayla Vera and myself, I'm Jason Godby. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.